The IBC selection panel has concluded interviews for the 36 applicants who are shortlisted to fill the four vacant slots as IEBC commissioners. The Elizabeth Mulu-led panel says it has now retreated to review the interviews before presenting names to the president. Here's Stephen Latour with more. After a rigorous 12 days of interviews, the IEBC selection panel has called it a day. 35 applicants have successfully been interviewed with one applicant having withdrawn his candidature. According to the panel chair Elizabeth Mulu, the consideration of the candidates will be done in a transparent manner, adding that her team will remain true to the oath they took in order to give their country the best four commissioners to steer the IEBC. The selection panel will forward the names of successful applicants to the president before they are presented to the National Assembly's Justice and Legal Affairs Committee for vetting and a report table for debate. The four vacancies were occasioned by the resignation of four commissioners, Conin Katha, Paul Kurgat, Margaret Mwachanya and Roslyn Akombe. On the last day of the interviews today, two applicants appeared before the panel. What will the IBC do if a candidate or a political party refuses to comply? If a candidate fails to comply within the time frame that is provided uh, by the commission, then that candidate will be prohibited or barred from contesting in that particular election and in the next election. Successful candidates will join three other commissioners at the IEBC with a full entry that of planning and preparing for next year's general election as well as the boundaries review. Stephen Leto, Citizen TV.